Are you tired of dating without getting the ring? Or do you want to position yourself to be a wife? <laughs> then this video is for you. Coming up, I'm going to tell you some of the things you need to consider that will make this journey successful. This is your ultimate guide. Now the first thing that I want to tell you is please and please do not play wife before you actually become a wife. Oh my God, so many stories of ladies, you know, building the man's home and giving him everything, you know. <laughs> How is he going to actually marry you if you're giving him everything that he needs, you know? You're giving him your body. You're giving him house, you know, you're doing all the house chores. You're doing motherly duties even before you actually become a wife. Hey, I need you to reconsider and think through before you actually do such things. So I believe dating and courtship should have the aim of marriage. You know, should have it in mind. So get to learn one another and, you know, without those full responsibilities of husband and wife. Get to learn one another. And these are Christian perspectives, I always say. So please and please don't play wife before you actually become one. Don't break your heart. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. The second thing that you need to know as a lady, you know, we're talking about girlfriend to wife, you need to know your worth and be worthy of honor. I've had so many stories of people who stay in relationships where the man is being disrespectful, is being violent, you know, is, is not treating you the way you should be treated. Please don't stay in that relationship. It really breaks my heart when women do not know how worthy they are. You know, they don't know their worth. So many women struggle with being single because you feel like oh, no, there's no one, you know, to take care of me. There's no one to send me that good night message. But singlehood is an opportunity for you to grow your relationship with God, you know, find out what he wants for you. And he will bring the perfect person for you, someone who will treasure you and value you. So please, you know, know your worth. And as we're talking about worth, you need to be worthy of honor. Yes, women. Be worthy of honor. I like the story of Ruth. Um, when she went into Boaz's fields, you know, she had gone there to look for work. You know, Boaz said, I've heard about the things you did for, you, for your mother-in-law, you know? So remember, people are always hearing. People are always hearing. So what are the things that you're doing? Are you worthy of honor? You know, don't seek honor that you don't even deserve. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but the way you carry yourself is very important. So please, know your worth and be worthy of honor. Light bulb moments, Lisa. Did you know that humans have tiny eye mites living at the best of their eyelashes? So men, stop winking winking at people's daughters with your eye mites. <laughs> the third thing that you need to think about that is going to make this journey from girlfriend to wife successful is if you have a specific list of things that you want in a partner. Oh my God, it's very important that you be specific. Write them down, write them down, you know. He should be tall. He should love the Lord. He should have the same value system as you. These things help you in choosing the perfect partner. Don't just go into a relationship just because you are in love and you've not thought through these things. Remember I've said that dating and courtship should be for marriage. So look at the person you're with and identify, is this the person I want to be with forever? You know, and the very important, the most important thing about this list is ensure that you have the same value system. I've talked about this before. Don't just go in because he goes to church. If you're a Christian, please look at his relationship with God. How does he, you know, relate with God? Does he have those intimate moments with God? It's very important because once you get into a marriage, because I'm there, I know, and your value system is completely off, you will struggle. But decisions are made easy when you have the same value system. So ensure that you have that list and keep ticking. And even as you pray, you know what to pray for. You're praying for your spouse. You're saying, Lord, you see my list? This is what I want. And you know, God gives us the desires of our hearts. And even when you, you know, have that list, it shouldn't be like casting stone that all these 15 items the person should have. But you need to understand and learn and say, mm, okay, what's the priority? Okay, if he has eight out of 15, hmm, I think that's a good, you know, it's a good percentage. So ensure that you have a list from which to take off when you're finding your spouse. You will find that you'll be a, you know, a great wife because you've got what you actually want. That is my tip for you. The next thing that I think is very key is having a place for mentorship and guidance. 
yes you're dating you know but don't wait until it's three months to your wedding and then you start going for counseling mm -hmm. it's important that you should have like someone who can guide you you can bounce off thoughts with they can let you know what marriage is like so that you're prepared you know that's the biggest challenge that we have people go into counseling two months into the wedding you do a crash course program you know take time even if it means a year you know take time like even if it's set aside a year to keep learning about marriage to allow god to guide you you know allow god to speak to you because you're going to spend all these years with this person you don't want to do a crash course program of two weeks mm -mm. please cancel that out <laughs> so please make time to get guidance and mentorship it's very key in this journey the other thing that i think is key is being in the right place if you're a christian and you're looking for a christian man and you're going north and yet the christian man is south you know <laughs> that may not go well for you so be in the right places I love the story of Rebecca, you know, when they had sent a certain servant to go and look for a wife for Isaac. Rebecca was at the well. And this guy prayed and said, if I find someone, you know, at the well. So you need to be in the right place, says, please. If you remember, you have your list. You know what you want. Where do these kind of people be? Mm, like roughly where? <laughs> be in those spaces. Trust me, you'll find the right person for you. The final thing that I want to emphasize <laughs> is be recognizable. Yes. You remember you, you're already in the right place, but how do you stand out? How do you stand out? Please don't just offer your body. Don't feel like I'm beautiful and that's it. No, you need to have other things that a person can look at and say, mm, this is someone that can actually be my wife. For example, <laughs> my husband um, met me when I was ushering. You know, I'll tell that full story someday but i was ushering i was leading people to their seats i was you know he saw mm, that's a hard working girl and i owned the company so that even made things ah, he's like wow this chick is enterprising yeah so she has a sense of leadership she has a sense of fending for herself wow he was intrigued and then he wanted my number okay so it's important that you have other attributes that someone can actually you know uh make use of so just like this flower look at it i know how beautiful it is right <laughs> so it has the red so you want those traits like boldness confidence you know and then it has the yellow this speaks into uh bringing joy you know bringing life you know when a man sees that you can bring life eh, he knows that the home is going to be tick you know you're not always angry and and I, you know so be like this flower it has so many colors so just like you you have so many attributes it may be kindness you know it may be integrity many times you know you tell one lie someone may be like mm, okay one lie she's lied second time third time eh, you become a, a serious liar no one wants such kind of people as wives you know so actually <laughs> just like how beautiful this flower is if you want to get it uh, gracious thoughts is here for you you can reach them out i'll put a contact in the description box and also you'll be able to get gift cards uh, gift parcels they do so many things like that so be like this beautiful flower have so much to offer you know have a lot to offer more than just offering your beauty just i'm beautiful <laughs> people want more and that is one of the most important points in transition from girlfriend to wife Actually, I've also been beautified today by Mr. Styles. Mr. Styles is the place you need to be. Check her out on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description box. She's the best stylist ever. You never know. You may go faster to wife because you look just like I do. <laughs> My name is Lisa Kusima and I'm here 